Hello everyone, welcome to my game demonstration for a game programming project in Unity. Today I'll be walking through the scene and how the game mechanics work and some accidental features or bugs that turned into features of the game. So I'm going to go ahead and show you around the scene. We have a mountain with a skybox in the background with mountains uh, in this giant lake with some ice mountains on the side. We have some terrain on the floor and some trees of different uh, shapes and sizes. We have some houses and all this stuff to kind of make this area feel a little bit more alive. And here is the playing field, the initial level one. And to the right of me, we have level two. And it's pretty interesting what happens or what I decided to do in instead of creating a different scene. I decided to pan the camera to switch to the next level and it created an interesting effect that we'll take a look at. Now before we get started uh, showing all the mechanics I want to play the game and show you that. So I'm going to maximize on play and we're going to run the game and this is the camera that you'll see. You don't really get to see a lot of the other stuff but I just want to show you you are the blue box and you move with the WASD and if I collide with a red object uh, I get destroyed and I have to respawn. And I'm just going to show you I can do this as many times as I want and it's just going to respawn me. Now my goal is to touch that green cube so I'm going to do that. I'm going to stick around in this area, glide in here and I should be good to go. I'm going to collide with that green object, it pans a camera, we get respawned here, and now what's interesting is that we rotated the camera, right? So the controls have switched, so you gotta figure that out now. I'm trying my best now to do it. So A right now is moving down, which traditionally is moving left, which it is, but we have the, since we rotated the camera, it's different. So I'm going to go ahead and try that. Now if, I, if I'm able to do this, I'm going to be really proud of myself. <laughs> this is definitely not as easy as it looks. Uh, so I'm starting to get the hang of it. Oh, there we go. So yeah, this one's a lot harder. This level right here. Ooh, I, ah, I touched him. <laughs> yeah, so I want to try to complete the level and just show you, you know, this could be something that's a little bit replayable. Uh, and definitely, if I were to continue this project, it would have a lot more levels similar to stuff like this. As you can imagine, I can rotate the camera again. It would flip it to some other orientation. So I want to move... W and then A here. First, let me align myself this way. Yeah, that's good. W then A. Cool. So I've completed the level. And yeah, let's walk through all of the mechanics here that's uh, underway. So let's go to the scene. Basically, everything is stored. All the collision detection is stored in the player. So I will just walk you through briefly, not bore you with all the details. But I have a change scene script that takes in a new spawn location and an old one. And I basically, how I have the spawn locations, is they're unrendered, un, they have no rigid bodies or anything. They're just these small objects. And it basically stores these positions for me. So I can set the player position to these spawn locations when I need to. And basically what I do in the code is when I flip the scene over, I switch spawn location, this spawn location, I teleport it over to spawn location two, which is over there on this play field. And yeah, that's basically how it works. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration and this was definitely a lot of fun to make. Thank you for watching.